Guys, we got this uh, 2007 Toyota. Uh, I think it's a Camry. I forgot to look. I think it's a Camry. Um, they said that uh, the trans feels like it shifts weird when it's cold. So I had them drop it off. We put this trans back in in January. It was a six month warranty. They didn't want anything longer. It does feel weird. And then it starts jerking. That wasn't me doing it. Yeah, it's weird shifting. You're definitely right about that. Let's see. That was weird. It was definitely really weird. Um, I want to pull over down here see if we can record some of the data from the trans. They said it only does it when it's cold. I'm glad I got that on video. Let me uh, let me stop recording here. And uh, that's a lot of cinders on the road. And we'll record some of this live data. Okay, so we really don't have any data in there. So now it's not doing it. That is really weird. I wonder if the trans like bleeds down or something. What are we at? 157,739. I don't know what it was when we put the trans in. like a bleeding down and it's causing something weird like um, almost like when a torque converter drains and you don't have any forward movement for a couple seconds of reverse Watched somebody just uh, get pulled over by a cop, left the cop, and then went the wrong way down the highway. That was exciting because that was a one way highway, and they turned and went on an oncoming, and then the cop quick pulled out and put their lights on, so I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it feels perfectly fine now. I'm gonna go do some research on this since we have no data pits. There's no data pits. That was weird that it shifted like that. I'm gonna reach out to some friends that rebuilt some transmission, see if I can get some more information on this. That is definitely really interesting how that went. Just noticed this. So we got Toyota Camry transmission sluggish, revs when cold. They want an oil change, car stalled, and needed to be jump started. Batteries at 12 volts, all things at 13 to 12. Car stalled when my daughter was driving. 
I've drove the car the last few days and only noticed the transmission sluggish and revs when cold. So, we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, what we can do here about this. Hmm. These are our codes, I just wanted to see. But if it died, we may not have fault codes. Okay guys, so I logged into my text stream. We're gonna try to uh, see if we can find the update for this car and do it. The customer approved it. I tell them I have no way of knowing if this car has the update or not that I know of. Even talking with friends without just trying to do it. <sighs> Let's see. Is that the one right here? Enhancements for shifting. Oh, there's a couple of these. Let's see. Toyota 04 Camry. This is six speed. Recalibrate. So there's another one. Let's see. Oh, so there's a calibration spot. Let's see if this car has uh... Well, actually, it wouldn't matter anyway. It doesn't have it. Because we, when we did the trans, we put the TCM in that came with the trans. Because there was no codes on the valve body. Let's see... Where's our update? Oh, here we go. Let's see if this will take us to the bulletin. Please see this bulletin. So I must have missed one. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back again. We miss one. Oops. Okay, so there's this one, six eight oh eight. Oh, do these go up? By the way, they go down. Like up. Let's see. Let's see what this one says. This might make it difficult. Okay, Camry. Um. I have a screenshot of our calibration. This one doesn't look like it's the right trans because I'm pretty sure it's a six speed that we need. see if I can figure this out and I'll come back to you guys unless we can search for the bulletin no. oh so we can search for the VIN let's see four T one BK 
four six K four seven U five five three seven five three. Let's see, look up. Okay, that might not be right. Let's see. Well, I guess I gotta register this. Let me come back to this. See if we can fumble through this. Let's connect to the vehicle. Okay, Toyota Camry. Select options with smart key. It's VSV. I think it has VSC or VSC. Um, I don't see a VSV light, but this has a lot of options. Let's see if one comes up on the dash. No, I see traction control, but that's it. I don't think this has vehicle stability. Because I think usually they have a VSC off button. I don't see it. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so it does say there's a calibration update. So that's our calibration. We're on 200. Um, let me grab that paper. Where was our trans update? I don't know where our trans update got to. Paperwork. Um, let's open up Chrome real quick. Let's go to Pro Demand. We'll look at Pro Demand. Let's see, login. History. Toyota Camry. TSPs. Uh, automatic trans. And we'll go down to that. Where's that TSB? There's a shutter. Harsh downshift. Oh, well, this is flare condition. This is it. So what port number did this say? Previous version, uh, eight three or eight nine five three six three three. Eight nine five three six three three. Zero one two hundred. Zero one two hundred. So yes, there is an update. Let's see what this takes us to. Search. Okay, here we go. Enhancement 0317 0300. So let's open up this TSB. Okay, I wonder if this is going to work. I do want to print this out if it'll let me. Okay, it'll let me print. Let's find our software update. Let's 
shift flare. What the heck? Why am I like feel like I'm missing our update? Or am I clicking on the wrong thing? Usually there's a part number you click on, I thought. Why am I missing? This is supposed to be it right here. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Open. Allow. Next. Next. Function, print screen. So that's a really old calibration they had. Next, switch ignition switch off. Wait 10 seconds. Switch it on. There you go. I'm going to let this program and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so now we gotta turn our key off. Let's turn it off. Let's press next. I had to wait. I was on the phone call, so I had to wait in the middle of programming, so I just left the key where it was. Okay, turn the ignition on. Okay. Is there another calibration or is it just checking it? There we go. Let's see, can we print this? 
This will open in Chrome. I'll print this out for them. There we go. Finish. So that is done. Um, I'm going to look at the rest of the TSB, see what we have to do to uh, do the relearn. Um, I guess we can check all these, see what else needs, if there's anything else that needed to be updated. But most of the time, Toyota you only do the updates if there's a, if there's an issue. So there's no, no more updates. There we go. Okay yeah, guys, so after you flash it, they just want you to start the engine warming up and then test drive it. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'll start it up and then uh, I'll clean everything up here, let this car warm up and we'll uh, take it for a drive and we'll see if it fixes it. This car's been running for a while. I cleared the codes because we had no COM codes in the ECU for doing the update. Let's see. So, let's see, what is it? Okay. Maybe I should shut this off before I do this. Okay. There we go, we're resetting. Okay, so let's go road test this. Start this up. Let's make sure all our gears are good. So that's good. So I'm gonna get this outside. We'll take it for a ride. We'll see what happens here. Hey guys, so we're gonna take this for a test drive real quick. And we'll see if it shifts any better. It's still gotta learn. So we didn't learn anything, we just cleared all the adaptives. So I guess we'll see in the morning if it drives any better. Maybe we can get two test drives tomorrow, drive in the morning, then drive at the end of the day. Um, a lot of people don't look for software updates, so I really hope this fixes this problem. If not, I did do some research. He did buy a lifetime warranty. So apparently the bill was wrong. It said six months. But we'll take this down the road here. Uh, I'm going to do a loop and I'll come back and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay guys, so this car seems to be driving pretty awesome. I'm very, very, very happy with it. It's, uh... It's, uh... Running really, really good. Uh, I'm going to park it. We'll test drive it tomorrow morning. It seems to be shifting way better. It seems to be shifting pretty quick too, like it's supposed to. Um, I guess tomorrow we'll take it for a ride and then maybe we'll, we'll let it sit, take it for another ride, check the fluid level. But since I put the trans in in uh, January, the fluid level should be good. I didn't see any signs of leaking. But it definitely seems to be shifting really nice. I think we gotta check like the strut or something on here too. Okay guys, let's just start the car up. Let's see how this drives. Seems totally different now. 
It is cold outside. See, 39 to set all night. I'd say this is a huge difference. Let's go back to our drive. You guys saw the way it shifted before. I am, uh, I am really happy with it. Just with that, no more flaring. I was gonna continue down the highway, but I didn't want the trans to warm up. I wanted to shift more. I was hoping that I would fix it because it said that's what it was for. Yeah, that is super smooth, guys. I shouldn't say super smooth, but way different than it was. I just wonder how many cars there are with this problem. Okay guys, we're gonna take this car for a ride. See how this runs. Hopefully it's good. Look at that, 45 degrees. So we went up three degrees since this morning. Let's see. Take it out when it's nice and cold. This thing is driving nice, all because of software update. That's what some people don't understand though. Like, I don't know how some people fix cars when there's software updates. Like, it's fine, call somebody. Call somebody that does mobile programming, but like some people don't look at TSPs. And this is the importance, like this is old TSP. Like for example, I had a car, I think it was like three or four months ago, it was a 96 Jeep. Uh, Cherokee with a four liter and it was setting misfires and it wasn't misfiring and there's a software update from 1996 to fix it the car was never updated never updated well, look how nice this is running no more problems so we'll head back to the shop and uh this is awesome though that we fixed it. So I'll head back and then uh, should be good to go. They also want an oil change, so I gotta do an oil change yet. Okay guys, I just got back, so seems to be running good. I uh Hope you guys like this. Hope maybe you learned something. See you guys later.